Well, folks, after the big debate, Donald Trump rules out another rematch with Kamala Harris for the 2024 elections. The Harris campaign called for a rematch. So, again, Camilla will say, hey, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll debate you, Trumpy. And, of course, because he did lose that debate, I don't care what anybody says, Trump uh, said he, he would uh, think about it, then he ruled it out, guys. Again, this is nothing but a soap opera, a novella, you know, he must have went to, you know, yeah, you know, he was there yesterday at the uh, 9-11 Memorial in New York City. They all met, they shook hands, uh, you know, they had uh, the leaders there, they had their little meeting and of course, now he basically said, I won that debate. I want it bigger, right? I'm not going a debater anymore. Why would you not debate her, Trump, if you won the first one? Because again, she she won that debate. And again, I truly believe this is all set by design, right? And here in this photo here, you have Biden even wearing a Trump mega hat at Shanksville, uh, Pennsylvania, uh, where, you know, that's where, um, you know, the 9-11 supposedly one of the planes crashed. I don't believe that either. Guys, we live in a rigged reality. Presidents are selected and not elected. Of course, he said he want to rematch all these things. I'm not even going to read this. He basically said he doesn't want one. He said that he was battling everybody, right? The uh, moderators, and I'm not going to fight three people and all this. It's unfair. Uh, guys, come on. It is what it is. And uh, it's a sad state of affairs. And this is what we have. And unfortunately, you know, I think Camilla may take it at the end of the day. And that's the reality. We're going to be stuck with these monsters, uh, Camilla and her crew, and uh, it's not good. But anyway, this is all part of the system. This is what they're going to push forward is their agendas to, again, take away more and more freedoms. That's why it's time to get to God. Subscribe.